Okay, I'm on a, I was looking for some good videos on YouTube for 5x5 five five patterns. I couldn't really find anything. I'm going to show you a few of them that I figured out on my own and how I figured them out. These are all, all the ones I'm showing you are going to be with uh, every move that you do will be turning it twice. So it's, it will always be the opposite, same pattern on both opposite sides. Um, first one I'm going to start is the both of the inside layers and then the bottom, the inside top layer. And you put both of these back and put this one back and you get get you four. You can do the same thing on the other side uh, because you're doing rotating at two turns at once it'll always be the opposite on both sides. And put it back you do the same thing. So that is uh, little L, little R inverted, uh, little U, and then R, or little R, little L inverted, and little U inverted, I believe. I don't really do too much with the notations because I figured most of these out on my own, so that could be wrong. <laughs> And uh, if you want to do just two instead of four, do the middle layer, and then the top, and then the middle layer back, and then rotate the top one back, and then you have two. And you can flip it this way and do the exact same thing to get the opposite two, and have a little cross in the center. And uh, all these that I'm doing, you can do get on every single side. Just turn it this way and do the exact same thing you just did. And flip it this way and do the exact same thing you did. You do two sides at once. I'm going to go back and show you some more patterns from before. Oh, if you do the same thing again, then you can rotate from these ones to the out outside. That's just uh, starting the pattern, and uh, any all the patterns I do are just building on them. That's how I first started it, and then I just built on it from there. I do the four, so the two inside ones completely around, and the inside top around, and then the, just put do the exact same thing backwards to reverse it, so I get the four. I'm gonna do this on every side to show. It show you what to do next, how to build on to it. Okay, now I have got four dots in the middle of every side. And after I do that, I'm going to do just the middle ones. So when you're doing rotating two at a time, all the ones that cross are going to switch. So if I rotate one that has already has this switched, then it'll be uh, all the ones that are white here will be yellow, and all the ones that are yellow will be white. I'm going to rotate the center ones, and none of them are touching. But then when I flip it back, I'll do one, then the other. When I flip it back, the two where the lines that I are rotating intersect will be the opposite. So if I do the middle down and then the middle over, it flips that one to the opposite and then these ones stay so I get this crosshair pattern. And then uh, from flipping it the second time it's already got this way flipped so I just gotta do the middle on this side to get it. And now I have it on every side. That's my crosshair pattern. Then uh, from there you can build on it again with doing these two like you did the first time. Flip both of those over and you get this big X through it. I'm going to do the same thing 
I'm right now I got that on all sides but the top and bottom. So if I do it on this one here, I'm just going to change these patterns, but I do the exact same thing, and it gets a, this cross in the center. That's the same color as the sides. If I rotate this way, I have an X on all these sides this way now. So if I do the exact same thing here, now I have... Oops. <laughs> this pattern on all sides. And this is all just the same moves that I'm doing, just, you know, the same couple things the, uh, over and over, doing the moves combinations and stuff, and just playing with it and figuring out these patterns. There might be an easier way to, or a quicker way to do it, I don't know. crosshair to get it back is the center ones first. And then uh, they'll flip those two back to the four and then these ones are just the line that's solid. So you have four of them on all of them. And then to reverse the four you do the exact same thing you did to get them. It's the two insides. And then the inside top. Uh, and then the insides back to where the two inside left and right back to where they were and this one back. These are all fairly easy patterns to do with rotating them twice and not just once. You can get a lot more complicated patterns without doing where you're doing the exact same thing on both sides, but they're a little bit more complicated than like the checkerboard or something that everybody knows to begin with. Now I'm going to go back and do just the two instead of the four again and build on that some. That's just the center one and the top. My camera's a little shaky, sorry. You can get that V on all sides too. And from here, I'm not really sure where I'm going. I haven't messed around with this too much, but all I've been doing with any of them is the same different combinations of patterns with either these two and then one or the other of these. If you do both of them, you'll just, everything will go back to how it was. Or the center and the line, in, or I can do one of the centers and the top. Anything that where one of these will uh, intersect with each other when you rotate both of them will change the pattern that's on it. If I do just the centers on this one I already showed earlier, flips it.